Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and if you're new here you're so welcome. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera, got a bit sunny. We're British early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in northwest France and every Sunday we share with you an aspect of our weekly life, what we've done to save money. Let's take a look at what we've been up to this week. <laughs> Take a look. I it's I have got a lasagna in the oven. It's excuse my reflection. It's pretty much cooked, but I'm just gonna make sure it's completely cooked through. And whilst the oven is on, I've got some fruit muffins in there for a weekend treat. Just try to get the fire hot again. And I made the lasagna with some bolognese sauce I had. It wasn't quite enough, so I quickly added some tomato sauce. Um, this is what I do to get the labels off because I reuse these jars. Um, our, our jars are designed for reusing before anyone gets emotional, know what you like. And this will soak off the label. And as you can see, I have my kettles on top of the stove to keep my water hot for washing it up. I'm all cleaned up now. What other job have I got to do here? I need to get my recycling, oh, I get my recycling, my compost on the compost pile. And then I will wait for the muffins to cook and I will get outside and I've got lots and lots of gardening work to do today. There is my finished lasagna. You might be wondering why I'm cooking it in the morning. It's because it'll be too warm later on to have the wood stove lit. I light it in the morning, it warms the house and I cook in the morning. So there we go, there's my lasagna made. And uh, what we'll do with dinner time is we'll cut out the portions that we want, the size we want, and just microwave it on the plate and we'll have it with some coleslaw that I made yesterday and some salad. So there we go, a few fruit muffins. Oh, they smell lovely, sort of strawberries and vanilla. And lasagna, that's it, that's my cooking done for today. It took me four logs. Four logs, that's it. Four logs to cook this food today. And I've also filled up my flasks with hot water, well, boiling water. So whenever I want a cup of tea through the day, I've got hot water. My dog's yelping out there because <laughs> she knows she can hear Mike outside and she wants to go and see him. So that's it, my cooking is done. I'll leave it there to cool. I'm moving off out into my garden. That's uh, raised bed number two. You can see how much lower this raised bed is than that raised bed. That's how much it all sinks down. So raised bed number two done. I'm working on number three. I've got other jobs in the garden. I'll share those with you. I've just finished mulching six currant bushes. Um, there's black currant, white currant and red currant here. There's six all together. They've been pruned. Um, I was given all these. They are very established um, fruit bushes. And last year I made tons and tons of jam from the black currants I got from them. So they may not fruit this year because they've been transplanted, but they're looking really healthy. You can see here they're, they're all growing. And what I've done today, obviously I've pruned them all. Of the last of the pruning, and most of the pruning was done earlier. But what I've done today is all of my fruit trees and fruit bushes have been mulched because I put mulch on it seems to just disappear so it just keeps the weeds away from the trees and, and gives them a fighting chance. So over the last two years we have planted so far six fruit bushes and six fruit trees, three apple trees and three peach trees. <laughs> Off to the barn to get some kindling. Brittany's normal weather is back. She is wet and grey. It's just that sort of day. Wet and grey. Good job we had a morning in the garden. It's fine. 
off to the barn. Because luckily, sometimes I'm a bit organised. I've got a box of kindling in the middle of this mess. Ready to go, so I don't need to chop anything up. Winner! It's a rainy day outside today, so I decided to do one of the jobs that I've been putting off. It's just putting together this little cart we've got for carrying stuff around the garden. I tried to put it together about a month ago, but the Chinese instructions defeated me. So today's a good day to give it a go. Here we go. I managed to put together some of it last time, but unfortunately, due to the vagaries of these instructions, I put some bits on back to front. Not upside down, just back to front. So I'm having to take it to pieces and then have a second attempt at it. It looks simple, but it's not simple. But there you go. That's life sometimes. Let's have another go. So this is the finished cart, which Jane has decided to call Hyacinth because she's a bit of a bucket. You need to be British to understand that, but if you, if you Google Hyacinth bouquet or Hyacinth bucket, you can figure it out. There you go, one more garden implement, all done and ready to go. run out of quilts to quilt at the moment. I have one that I am currently making and it's just at the cut it out stage. So I'm, I'm on my feet a lot at the moment. I'm not sitting down sewing. And also when I'm stood here with my long arm quilting, I could be on my feet for hours. I want to show you my shoes. So here are my shoes from Fitville. Here they are. Now I can't wear slippers around the house. They do not support my feet and you can come up to me now if you can, 
because I have plantar fasciitis. So it means my feet can sometimes be in incredible pain. So if I'm stood cutting fabric, which I have been and can be for a couple of hours at a time, or I'm pinning a quilt onto my long arm, or I'm actually long arming a quilt. You know, if I don't have proper shoes on, my feet can really, really hurt. So thank you to Fitville for sending me these shoes. Now I've always said on this channel, we will never recommend anything, we will never review anything or promote anything that we would not use. Well, I have to wear decent shoes that support my feet because like I said, I've got plantar fasciitis. So have another look at them, have another look at them made. You see, you see they've got lovely supporting soles. They really do support my feet, they're great. I've been on my feet for hours today, absolutely hours, and they really do help my feet. So thank you Fitville. There is a 30% off code. We'll put that up on the screen and we will also put it in the description box below. I'm gonna get back to pinning up this quilt. This quilt is a quilt that I made, oh, 10 years ago and it's not quilted. I've just stitched in the ditch. So I'm gonna get it on my frame and I am going to quilt it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for all your comments. And thank you to everyone who subscribes. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.